What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? The gathering of the Oreo of the Month Club is back here on Snack Briefs, and all we gotta say is dun 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 Oreo's here today, and you can't see me, baby. That's right, you can't see either one of us, but keep watching the video anyway. We are here to check out, by the way, I'm Brandon, and that's Hewell Mahoney. Snack Tom Pally, we're here today with the biggest snack society windfall in a while. We're ahead of the curve for once in the cereal bowl edition of the Snack Society Snack Briefs. Da, 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 da. Right within the first week of release, we've got the fu Fruity Crisp Oreo. Oh. And first of all, why? Yeah. Uh, who, who decided that you need to put cereal in an Oreo? But hey. You know, they made the marshmallow crisp ones, but that's a thing. Like you make marshmallow crispies. Yeah, it's so it's like a treat yeah. outside of cereal form. Yeah. This is them going straight up down the cereal aisle, and like, what are they gonna do next? Make raisin bran? Raisin bran, crispy wheats and raisins. No, no, no. Cap this Captain Crunch. I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared, and I'm not excited. That Captain Crunch one would rip your mouth. Cause apart. this, oh, oh geez, you'd be, you have, you'd be bleeding. You'd be going to the dentist. <laughs> There'd be some loose teeth. Be, be hard times. These though, I don't think we have to worry about that, but I'm not excited about the flavor. Me either. I, I don't know what you need. Fruity Crisp, by the way, they couldn't get the uh, lucrative post endorsement. So yeah. We got no Fred, no Barney, no John Cena on here. Nope. And uh, yeah, so they are Fruity Crisp. So basically trying to say that they have Fruity Pebbles within them. And then there of course is the white center. Yes indeed. Which I guess is supposed to represent the milk. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and open these up here. Let's see what kind of scent we got going on here. What kind of flavor? We've had so many oh. different flavors. Of, whoa! Right off the bat, pretty strong. Jeez! Oh my God! And there you see some Oreos are in the back. It there. comes. Oh my God! As soon as you open this up. Oh my God! It's okay. Does it taste like? Does it smell like Fruity Crisp? Yes. yes, it does. Does it smell like Fruit Loops? Mm. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. It trip smells like sugar. It smells like sweet. I'm getting a little bit of that sour milk smell, just kind of like back in the day we had this boy named Sean that we used to hang out with, and he used to have like bowls of cereal that used to like hang around the room and congregate. Festering. Yeah, <laughs> you get that kind of smell to the room. Oh my while. god. But uh, yeah, it's, it smells a little bit like that because he likes Fruity Pebbles a lot too. Oh my god, this is pungent, and I'm gonna open this up here. So you can get the good look. Now you open this up. Oh my God! Look at that. It straight up has the birthday cake, white speckled Color. deal going on. Yes, rainbow. Oh my God! And it is pungent. It straight up smells like a thing of Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles between two vanilla Oreos. The, oh my God! The cream seems a little fluffier than your standard Oreo cream. Yeah, no, it's definitely thicker. Yeah. If I can, I don't know if we can quite show that in here, but that is. Thick. For an Oreo cookie, it almost seems like a double stuff. Almost. Which it are, is. Are not really double stuff. Yeah, that is like heavy on the cream, and uh, all you're getting is there's no cookie scent to this. It's all just the filling. Not at all. All right. Now let's see. Do it. Mmm. Mmm. I go back to this. I don't want fruity pebbles in my Oreo. I don't need this in my life. No. No. Uh, it kind of gives you almost that sort of cross contamination taste of like orange juice and milk or orange juice and toothpaste. Like yeah. two things that aren't supposed to be together. Oh my God. Although fruity pebbles taste good in milk, these don't taste good in this cream. It gives no. it a whole sour kind of thing. Yeah. Who wants a sour cookie? No, it, it's got, it does not blend well. That sour, fruity taste is overwhelming. It's as overwhelming as the scent. It knocks out the cookie out of the way. The cookie doesn't add anything to it other than crunch and just texture. I, I am not into this. I ate half of it. And I will tell you this, I don't ever need to have a Fruity Crisp Oreo ever again. Now, I had to find these at Giant. I couldn't find them at select retailers, not at Walmart, not at Target. If you find these and you're all about them, let us know. But I'll tell you, for me, full thumbs down. I don't like them. I no. Don't, I don't like Ugh. them either, but I'm not 
like gonna throw up or anything, mm -hmm. and I could probably eat him if I had to, gun to head. <laughs> if you had to. But so I can't give him mm. a full thumbs down, but uh, a quarter thumbs up, I guess <sighs> is what you would say, or three, three quarters thumbs down in this case for the uh, fruit <laughs> crisp, not multo meal Dino bites. Nope. Not post fruity pebbles, but nope. fruity crisp. Oreo cookies. Definitely cannot see these, John Cena. They don't stand up That's here. That's for sure. And they're not standing up for us. No, they are no darn good. But what you can do is stand mm. up for your rights and join the mm. SAS group on Facebook by clicking on the link in the description down below. Hundreds of the coolest people in the world are in our group, and you should be too. Why aren't you? Also, follow us on all the social media outlets, including Twitter and Instagram, at Brandon Rick SAS and at Hugh Mahoney. Yes, indeed. Take those handles you see down below and use them to connect with us on all the social media. We want to know what you think of these Oreos as they roll out across the country. So if you're not agreeing with us that they're disgusting, let us know and we can have a lively debate about it. And we can tie it all together with hashtag Snack Society all day, every day, because there's a lot to talk about here. I get the feeling some people are going to love these and some people are going to line up with us and we're going to hate these. I don't know. It might be a Snack Society. Society civil war about to come down here. But either way, no matter where you line up, you join the Four Horsemen, baby. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. In the meantime, in between time, let all your troubles be zapped away. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.